Liz, now in the war in Gaza, Israeli forces are pushing deeper into southern Gaza as the humanitarian crisis worsens. The ground offensive intensifies with more airstrikes and artillery fire. Hamas also firing rockets towards central Israel, causing some damage in its suburb of Tel Aviv. Today, Israel said it's prepared to fight for months or even longer to defeat Hamas. Hostages are still being held. The White House says it's looking to concerning reports that Israel used white phosphorus in a bombing attack in Lebanon. United Nations officials are warning that the humanitarian crisis is on the verge of collapse. The director of the World Food Program says there's not enough food and that people are starving. The Euro European Union's top diplomat called the situation apocalyptic, with destruction, quote, greater than Germany in World War II. According to the Palestinian Ministry of Health in the West Bank, more than 18,000 Palestinians have been killed in Israeli bombardments since October 7th. The revised death toll in Israel stands at just over 1,100. Fox's Trey Yingst is in southern Israel with more. Israeli forces ramping up attacks on remaining Hamas strongholds in southern Gaza on Monday and backing their ground campaign with airstrikes. It comes as troops continue battling Hamas around Gaza City and the Jabalia neighborhood in the northern part of Gaza. Hamas is also firing rockets towards central Israel, causing some damage in a suburb of Tel Aviv. Despite the increased fighting, the Biden administration says efforts are still underway to return to a pause in the war. We think it's still valuable and we want to get one back because we want to get those hostages out. Israeli officials say more than 100 hostages are still being held by Hamas in Gaza. Over the weekend, Hamas threatened to kill those remaining hostages unless Israel meets its latest demands for more aid and prisoner exchanges. They're implying that they want to cease fire. If they have a hostage exchange, they're going to a ceasefire. They want to stop the bloodshed and that they're suffering as a result of it. More humanitarian aid is entering southern Gaza through the Rafah border crossing on Monday, but UN officials say relief is still in short supply. It's raising concerns there about the spread of disease and malnutrition. Hunger is prevailing in Gaza. More and more people haven't eaten for one day, two days, three days. Meanwhile, Israeli officials say dozens of Hamas militants surrendered to the IDF. In southern Israel, Trey Inkst, Fox News.